Hi, and welcome to this video all about how to format your books using draft to digital Now, for those who don't already know, draft to digital is largely a way of uh, uploading your books to all the different digital storefronts at the same time, rather than having to go through and upload them all individually, which can take a lot of time and hassle. Uh, but what draft to digital also offers is a way to format your books. And you can do that without even having to actually distribute your book through uh, draft to digital which makes it a great and even better free way of making a really good looking book with none of the hassle of having to literally do it all yourself now as i said it is a free service and it's all uh, browser based as well so the first thing you'll need to do is create an account and that's very very simple there i mean i'm logged in right now but there would be a button in this exact place that says sign up you click that and you create a free account uh, should give you no trouble at all and then you should be on a screen like this or you should be led automatically through onto the books page which will if you haven't already got any books ready look like this so to get started you just want to come down here and click add new book and then you'll come to this screen Okay, so you can see that we have gone through to the edit book stage and we're at step one, which is details. There are four steps in total. There's layout, preview, and then publish. But we're obviously gonna start at step one. And the first thing we need to do is upload our book file. So we can just click in this box here and then I'm going to drag the file, the word file at this stage uh, for my reader magnet at the moment, the first draft we've got here. So it's an early one, but it'll do for this. And there you go, 100%, it is uploaded fine. Then we need to add a title. So I am putting uh, before the dawn language. It's already pre-selected pre to English. Uh, I'm not gonna add a series, though you can. I'm not gonna add a volume number, though again, you can. Release date is, uh, you can change it if you want, but I'm just gonna leave it as is because I'm not actually gonna put it live. Uh, it's already got me down as a contributor. When you sign up, you'll probably be able to put in your author name, but of course, if uh, for whatever reason it's it's not that, you can go in and uh, add other contributors or change your name. Now, you've also got description here. Now, if you're just formatting a book, this doesn't really matter, but it is required. Uh, and that's because when Draft a Digital, then uh, theoretically, if you choose, um, upload your book to all the different storefronts, it will need this information to uh, post it onto places like, like Amazon and that sort of thing. So I'll just go and grab that uh, text now. This is just a very basic description. You'll probably want to do something a bit more interesting for uh, your actual uh, blurb if you're trying to sell it. This is just from my, uh, my book funnel page. Uh, publisher, uh, obviously you can put through your actual publishing imprint if you've got one, but I'm just uh, going to leave it as my name because again, this isn't actually going to go live. You've got ebook ISBN number, though of course, drafted you don't actually need one for a, a, an ebook, and Drafted Digital will provide a free one anyway, so don't worry about that. And then finally, uh, you get to choose which um, which genres your book will fall under. Now you can search. I could go uh, space opera here and. And go fiction, science fiction, space opera, and you can put uh, as many as five. Uh, though many of the stores, like for example Amazon, will only accept two, so it may be worth just putting two down. I'm going to keep it as just one for now uh, because I think you get the idea, and we can move on to the next stage. Okay, so now we're on to step two, which is layout. So the first thing you want to do is I'm not sure why this is under layout, but the first thing you want to do is create or upload rather your cover image. So we can just click here and then I can find it right there. Upload that, just let it upload itself completely. And there we go, it has in fact succeeded and there's the picture now so that's great now this is a fairly short uh, it's a short story rather than a full novel so as you can see there aren't many chapters here in the uh, chapter layout it's basically just the actual 
chapter and then a couple of title pages. But uh, if you were uploading a full novel uh, that was in a Word file, it would probably have like 20 odd different uh, chapters that is identified because of page breaks or, uh, you know, titles in different fonts or, or sizes and bold and that sort of thing. But these are things that you can uh, tweak once you get into it. So you're not uh, you're not stuck with whatever Draft of Digital decides to do with you with your book. Uh, and of course, you can click this and uh, change things. So don't worry if this looks a little bit um, well, not as you imagined. Uh, but you do also have the option to add uh, front and back matter. It says add end matter, but you do get to add introductory pages. So uh, just tick whichever ones you want in your in your final book. So you probably want a title page and a copyright page. You may want a dedication. Um, promotional pages, you could probably want about the author. So if you click that, you then get add author profile. So you can you know click that, create an author profile, and it'll automatically upload it into your book. You can also click uh, also buy, and um, you know beginning of you can choose your location for that. So you can have it at the beginning of the book or the end of the book or both. Uh, I'm going to go with the end of the book. And when you're ready and you're happy with the uh, information, well, happy with your cover and you're happy with the in, the additional information that you are going to manually add, you just come down here and click Save and Continue. Okay, so now we're at step three, which is Preview, which is a bit more of an exciting one. We get to actually see what our book is going to look like. So here is the Preview window as such. So this is the title page that I asked to have added, and there's the, um, the legal stuff, the uh, copyright page. Uh, the table of contents which automatically creates as you can see it's just title page copyright page uh, the bulk of my story because it's just one long chapter and then uh, the uh, also buys so you can just use these arrows to click through there you've got a little uh, intro bit you see there are things like here where it's um, it's for some reason underlined rather than uh, italicized the um, sort of a, the, the the prologue forward part uh, but that's uh, something that you then have to go back and probably change within uh, the Word document itself and uh, play around, go back and forth, re-upload. takes a little bit of tweaking, takes a bit of getting used to, and if your chapters aren't as you expect, like for example if it said before the dawn and then had a much longer sort of um, uh, heading, you could go back through and click that help my chapters aren't right button at the uh, layout stage and choose exactly what you want for your title. So there are ways of tweaking all of this, but it can take a little bit of back and forth work. And then as you can see, this is the actual first uh, page of the uh, of the short story. Um, and so we can actually go through and change some things using the uh, the styles that we are offered now. It is limited. It's not as um, uh, customizable as uh, some other platforms, but you do get to do things like enable drop caps, so uh, which can't be done in this style apparently. But if I choose, if I choose, let's say uh, digital echo, there, there you can see I can have that like that, or I can click it and have it like that. So we can go through some of the different styles. You've got uh, draft digital simple style. You've got modern watercolor, uh, deco. These things aren't really changing huge amounts of stuff, as you can see. Most of this is the same for all purpose. But you can go to things like romance, and uh, if we go here, we'll probably get, yeah, here's a better idea. You've got romance, you've got a little cup there. You get a little bow, subtle hearts, sci-fi and fantasy, you can have that, 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 or even that for a bit of a Game of Thrones vibe. And uh, non-fiction, you've got these, which are a bit less exciting. Let's try a thriller one as well. Should we have uh, grime? Ooh. Nevermore, classy mystery, I like that one, and uh, a thumbprint, because why not? So you get to choose and customize things however you want, uh, which is kind of cool. And then uh, obviously you go through and, you know, really quickly go through the story. And then here I've got the also by TWM Ashford. Now you will in your profile need to add all the books that you have out so that draft a digital can automatically fill this out for you. You can't go through and add it yourself unless you include it in your 
uh, Word document. That's the other option is to not use Drafter Digital to add front or back matter, but merely to create it all yourself in the Word document before uploading it in the first place. That way you have complete control over all the copyright page, title page, uh, dedication, also by author bio, everything you can do yourself so that Drafter Digital doesn't have to try to work anything out. You can just put it through and then tweak things accordingly when Drafter Digital makes a mistake here and there. So that would probably be my, be my advice that you don't have to rely on the platform. You can then download your book preview um, with the style that you've chosen. As you can see there, Digital Echo. Uh, you can either have it with a Kindle or EPUB for non-Kindle related e-readers or a PDF if you want it for a print copy, for example. Uh, and then once you are, I mean, that's as far as you can go if you if that's all you want. If you don't want to, um, uh, if you don't want to distribute your book through uh, Drafter Digital, you can just download the copies there, and that's it. You don't have to worry about anything more. You can shut it down and be done with it. You have you owe them nothing. But if you do want to then go and distribute it with them, you click this, you prove it, saying you're you're happy with how it looks, and then. Uh, click save and continue. Okay, so if you followed all three steps so far, you should already have a uh, a Mobi, an EPUB, and a PDF version of your finished book to upload to whichever storefront you now wish. Uh, but just in case you do want to um, distribute your book through Drafter Digital, um, I'll just give you a really quick overview of the fourth step, which is publish. So the first thing we've got is uh, the option to set the price that you want to sell your book for. Now it says digital book price in USD. Um, you can also click here and manage the territorial prices. So uh, you can go through each different area and decide how much you want to sell it for there. Uh, you then get to choose which storefronts you want to sell it through. So you've got Barnes & Noble, Kobo, Apple and Tolino. Um, you've also obviously got Amazon, which is the uh, the big one, but as they say, it strictly monitors content submissions. So uh, it's just basically saying you cannot, you know, you cannot upload a duplicate version of uh, your book file. So if you've already uploaded through Amazon directly, that's a big no-no. Um, so once you click on there, there's a whole load of stuff that you have to check just to make sure that you're not doing that. I mean, it's fine, but just be aware that you really can't double up. You've also got uh, subscription services, things like uh, Kobo Plus, 24 Symbols and uh, Scribed. Um, obviously you can't sign up to KDP Select because you aren't exclusive. The very nature of going through Data Digital means that you're not gonna be exclusive. And you also have the option to um, send stuff out to libraries, essentially. Um, so you may want to look into that as well. Um, you can check the box here to remember the store preferences. And then once you press Submit, you're basically uh, you're basically done, but I'm not going to do that because my book is exclusive to mailing list subscribers, uh, and this was just an example. And presuming that you are just using Drafter Digital to format your book, you will probably not get this far anyway. But just in case, now you know.